fifth quarter hitting you guys on a Thursday evening. You wouldn't think a non-conference matchup would be such a big deal, but Heidi Trask coming in 0-2, and two, and the South Brunswick Cougars 1-1. One one. Trask needing that win this evening. Let's get you to the action. Last year, these teams kept the game tight and the score low. I'll say it was a little bit different this time around. Let's get out to the action. We start with the Trask Titans. Zion Cruz breaking tackles, punching it in for the rushing touchdown. Two-point conversion was good. Trask goes up 8-0 to start off. South Brunswick answers right back, though, with QB Mason Phillips. A 13-yard run, breaking tackles. The Cougars would not convert the two. 8-6 still Trask. Those point afters would go to haunt the Cougars during the game, but not as much as flags and injuries did for the Titans. Titans would go into the half with a two-score cushion, but the Cougars were not done. That's Kayshawn Lee busting to the outside for a 19-yard touchdown run. The Cougars closing in 30-26. Trask still Cramping in the Titans secondary left them vulnerable for this. Kayshawn Lee again going 50 yards. South Brunswick lighting it up in the second half. And they close this one out with the comeback. 47-30. Trask still winless on the year. Trask plays hard. When they're at home, they play hard. When they're on the road, they play hard. And so we fully expected to get their best effort, and we did. But I felt that we were poised for a fourth quarter charge like we had and being able to take the lead and then hold on to it and uh, add some to it uh, showed me a lot about this team. We couldn't figure out how to stop them defensively and then we you know we we've, we've talked about being a stronger third quarter team than we have been the past two games and we were somewhat at the end of the third quarter but at the start we had two turnovers again and so those things that they've got to be worked on and uh, but it's progress, and a win is a win, and we're happy. Trask now 0-3 and three on the season to try and get a rebound next week as they travel to Union. For now, in Rocky Point, Andrew James, WWAY Sports.